after proper painting and draping of the limb we begin with the linear skin incision made directly over the most prominent area of the swelling the incision is carried down carefully through the skin and subcutaneous tissue maintaining good control of small bleeders using monopolar cautery the aim is to achieve adequate exposure while preserving the surrounding healthy tissues as we deepen the incision we encounter a fibro fatty tissue gentle blunt dissection is performed to identify the capsule of the mass which is visible is shiny well defined surface at this stage we confirm that the lesion is egg shaped form and well encapsulated with no apparent infiltration into the surrounding structures using a combination of sharp and blunt dissection we begin to free the mass from the surrounding soft tissues we proceed gradually along the capsule maintaining gentle traction to keep the field clear small feeding vessel encountered are cauterized to ensure hemostasis special care is taken to protect adjacent muscle fascia and neurovascular structures we continue to separate the lesion circumferentially working along its entire margin the mass is now completely mobilized and can be gently lifted using tissue forceps it has a smooth surface and is approximately the size and shape of a small egg we avoid rupturing the capsule to maintain the specimen integrity for histopathological examination once the lesion is completely freed from its bed we carefully excise it in one piece using monopolar cautery after removal we inspect the cavity for any residual tissues and ensure complete clearance The specimen is placed in a properly labeled container with 10% formalin for histopathology. The surgical bed is irrigated with normal saline and uh, hemostasis is achieved. Now we are cauterizing some small vessels in the wound bed.
Now we have placed uh, array to back drain tube in the wand so that extra uh, fluid and blood can be drained out. Then we approximate the subcutaneous tissue with the uh, absorbable sutures. Now we are approximating the muscles. Now we are closing the facial layer with absorbable suture. Now we will fix a red wake drain at the lower margin of the incision to allow smooth drainage of the serous fluid during the post operative period. The drain will help prevent fluid collection and promote proper bone healing. It is secured with a silk suture to avoid accidental displacement. Now we will close the skin with the interrupted vertical mattress suture using non-absorbable suture. The patient has tolerated the procedure well under spinal anesthesia. Postoperatively, he will be advised on limb elevation, wound care and follow up for review of the biopsy report. This video is shared only for educational and academic purposes with the informed patient consent. To help viewers understand the steps of safe and systemic soft tissue mass excision. Thank you for watching. Please like share and subscribe for more surgical learning videos.